Hello everyone this is Rajesh hope you are doing good and enjoying your life uh, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel call alien tech champion so if you have not subscribed or like the channel please like and subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest video as soon as i upload uh, here on the on my youtube channel and i am sure you all are getting some informations about the microsoft endpoint managers so today uh, i am going to talk about how you can set up the android devices with intune how you can uh, how you can set up the the first google play uh, uh, how you can link your, your uh, organization google play account with intune before setting up the profiles for the android devices or setting up the android devices right so as soon as you if you are uh, if you are <coughs> if you are on microsoft portal you see the my uh, endpoint.microsoft.com so as soon as you landed with the, the portal you will uh, you will see the home page so where you have to go you have to go to the devices right click on enroll devices and android devices android enrollment right so in my past previous video i have shown you how you can set up the apple enrollment i mean how you can set up the apns uh, uh, certificate so if you have not uh, if you have not like and subscribe that i mean if you have not watched the video you just go to my channel it's called alien tech champion and you refer this how you can set up the ios devices or or how you can get the apple apns mdm certificates so <clears throat> you can search on my alien tech champion channel as well right so <clears throat> let's come to the topic uh, so as soon as you click on the android enrollment you see the prerequisites right so everything is disabled here right except these two these three right because these three is not required google <laughs> uh, play integrations right so uh, you see the enrollment profiles everything is grayed out here in fact the button so this is the first pre-requirement here right so what you have to do you have to link your main is google play account with intune which is actually mandatory and to use your google play account you should not use your gmail regular gmail account you should have some company email address and then you can sign up with the google so what you have to do you have to click on here man is google play store and you have to select the agreement of course it's required right so you say you must connect in tune to your company manage google play account to manage the android enterprise devices right and then he say connect your intune tenant to an google account to enable the this enrollment so launch google to connect now okay it will launch you see here because i have signed with my uh, gmail already so i will select this one okay and you see i will say get started click on get started give it the name so what will give i will give my name uh, my name is mdm exports okay okay let's continue data data production officer's name Okay. these are the note required but you have to fill i am not filling any of these information i'll just click on next okay okay complete registrations thanks for choosing and now it apply that's it's very simple right nothing much done you see here it's spinning here it's quite easy or simple as microsoft has made right in fact for the apn you see it's set up an organization i have given microsoft mdm expert right which is i have given in the name right see my google account it's there i have signed with the gmail account you should not sign with your gmail account you should use your company or uh, corporate uh, gmail uh, corporate accounts right so that if you leave the organization other person can take over of this you see it's automatically earlier it, it has was grayed out now you see all has come the enrollment profile now here is the now now you have set up the google play store and it's already connected to the google services 
Google service is not available in China, so you should not uh, use this. And in, fo in fact, it's not available in Russia as well because of this Ukraine invasion, right? <clears throat> Ukraine uh, and Russia war, right? So currently it's bl blocked. So now you see earlier all these enrollment profile were grayed out. So the interesting thing is Google is, you all know open source platform and Google is providing uh seven ways to so there is four way you see one two three four five six seven there is seven way to enroll or manage the android devices with intune which is actually quite confusing why why seven ways right so let's talk about one by one quickly i will go into much detail uh on in an, another video i will just briefly touch all these seven uh, or at least four in this video so let's first open this personally on devices with work profile so it's, it's clearly mentioned right the personally on so what is that just means personally on so personally it's BOID with the work profile you see use the personally on with work profile to manage corporate apps on user on devices by default enrollment of personally work profile is enabled so by default it's enabled so no further action is needed to configure platform restrictions i have shown you in my previous video you can configure the platform restrictions and assign to specific users if if you want right and this block the device administration in the restrictions policies if you only want to users to enroll with Android enterprise work pro because device administration has been deprecated so in tune in fact it's not supported but still you see it's there so this is for the BOID devices so if you want to so I have shown you as well in my previous video there is two type of BOID with with enrollment and without enrollment I mean we call MDM or MM so this this will be if you configure with the your BOID devices with profile it will be the MDM managed right BOID devices okay you can apply the MAM protection policy with this profile as well along with so it will be the MAM with app protection policy so MDM which is called you can call as a traditional BOID method now this is the corporate on dedicated devices what is corporate on dedicated devices so this is you see it's clearly mentioned managed devices on enrollment of kiosk or task devices so if you have if you have uh, any company on devices which is actually single use devices such as digital signage ticket printing inventory management like airport or any retail shop right admin can lock down the devices with a limited set of applications and the wave links right it also prevent adding any other apps or taking other action on the devices so this corporate on dedicated devices is mostly meant for the kiosk devices you have to create the new profiles and then apply to uh, to enroll the devices right so this is for the kiosk devices if any of the airport printing or retail so what is these two corporate on fully managed user devices and corporate on devices with work profile these two are actually important for the company now i will come to them. it's all come important but these two i mean it's for the company owned devices so what is the fully managed so you can manage devices on enrollment with user devices what is this for corporate on single user devices of course it will be single user devices and 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 use ex exclusively for work not for the personal use admin can i mean as a intune admin you can manage the entire devices and enforce the policy control to the corporate on in the work profile so to enable this what you have to do so in this mode you have to reset your devices and enroll into intune with this token got and the devices will not be used with personal use i mean personal 
I mean, user cannot use as a personal. They cannot even sign into the Google Play Store with their personal Gmail account. So this is actually it's only meant for Kobo. I mean, we call this Kobo company on business use or company on fully managed devices. So what you have to do to allow users to enroll company on, you just have to select yes. That's it. And in one token will generate it here in a few minutes. You see, and you just to highlight this uh, token. To the users so that they can enroll their devices right i will show you in the next video how you can enroll uh the and your android company on android devices with this Kobo method the fourth one is the company on devices with work profile which is actually cope method we said company on personally enabled so what is this uh, this method for company on single user devices of course it will be single but but both for the company own and the personal use so if you create this cope method cope enrollment token right uh, this this is actually once you enroll your de devices with cope method company on devices with work profile user will be allowed to use company on devices with with your uh, I mean with the personal use so what you have to do you have to reset your devices company on devices you have to reset the devices to factory default and tap six times during the startup or setup screen and scan the QR code and then your devices and just you have to follow the on screen prompt and your devices will get in row into in tune using this cope method but now you understand this is for the buid traditional buid i mean which is fully mdm managed buid this is for the kiosk devices which is uh, for the retail shop or any ticket printing or inventory management this is for the fully dedicated no personal use I mean, we call Kobo, and this is for the Coop, where company owned devices, but it's allowing users to use for for their personal use. So, in this uh, in this method, Coop method, the the partitions, the the work profile will get separated uh, from the personal apps. So, this is actually giving the flexibility. Most of the company, if your company is more most restrictive, they don't want to allow the users to use as for the personal use, then go for the company on fully managed Kobo devices. I will more talk about this uh, open Android open source project, which is where actually it's uh, where managed uh, Google services is not available like China or Russia. You can use this to method, right? <coughs> user associated or userless devices. This is where actually Google services, but most of the you can see uh, where actually Android enterprise is available. Most of the countries is available. In fact, they have mentioned here in uh, yeah, you need to see whether uh, so if it's available, you can use all those four methods. If it's not available in in some providence and even if the government country listed below, then it's not available, right? So you have to use this enrollment pattern. This has been the Android device administration has been deprecated. So, but still, if you have the Zebra devices, you can use this, right? Or if you want, you can. But it's not recommended to use that. So hope I have given some information today regarding this, how you can set up and enroll your Android devices. I have just briefly touched the enrollment profile. It's not possible to explore all those profile in one video. So otherwise, the video will be longer. Uh, keep watching this uh, channel and like and subscribe to the channel. I will make the interesting video for you how you can learn the Intune with basic. Just it's it's not tough. It's quite easy for you to learn. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.